Hello, Sarah Klein here for a short yoga talk. So one seed has the potential for the whole forest or a whole forest began with one seed. So what yoga is teaching us and guiding us towards is the experience of Ekagraha, single point. It's training us through all the methods from asana to pranayama to mantra to narrow our field of awareness and drop it into the present moment, drop it into a single point or one object for an extended period of time. And when that happens, there's this oppositional effect where that finite focus bounces the awareness to be able to contemplate, meditate, and experience larger fields of awareness. So having the ability to meditate on grandeur or experience grandeur, to have the ability to contemplate space, the cosmos. An example I often think of is flying into a major metropolitan area and you look down, you see the city with the tall buildings and the sprawl expanding beyond the city and to sit and contemplate and meditate on how many lives are being lived, how many story or stories are being told in that moment, how much is happening. It's really difficult to wrap our mind around those types of things. And then the question to live in, not to answer, but to explore, is when we have the ability to hold these larger fields of awareness, what's the outcome? So when and it's a process, right? We've got to meet ourselves where we are and, and be soft in this process. But the opposite of an untrained mind is a scattered mind, a distracted mind. And I use, I think of the visual of having blinders on. And when the mind has an inability yet to hold that single pointed focus, between these two blinders, it whips and it whirls. And all it sees between those two blinders are that individual's dramas, stories, experiences, being pulled by desire. And those blinders keep us from zooming out and looking into whatever drama or situation we're confronted with, zooming out and looking in to have more perspective. <laughs> so this is without talking about the Sanskrit or the Sutra, it's 140 if you're interested in continuing to learn this. And a piece of this Sutra is the word Anu. And the word Anu means Adam, but what it's pointing to is a very small measurement and having the ability to hold the mind and contemplate in a finite way that really small point of matter. And then what happens in that is the, the mind narrows and then the oppositional pull takes that mind and expands it. And so it's being able to see the potency and the potential in any seed and to be able to see the whole forest in one seed. So um, I'll read Edwin Bryant's translation of 140 so that you can kind of continue your studies if you're interested. The yogi's mastery, and let me note that 140 previously, Patanjali gives us all these different points to meditate on, all these places to bring our consciousness, our awareness into single pointed focus again and again and again. And that's the practice. So Edwin Bryant translates really the outcome when we experience that, that holding of the mind. The yogi's mastery extends from the smallest particle of matter, the atom, the anu, to the ultimate totality of the matter. All right, so thanks for watching, right? In the end, yoga is giving us this path into experiencing grandeur, to broaden our perspective, to see more perspectives in any one moment, um, and to expand our awareness. All right, thanks for watching. Questions, comments, I love to hear from you. Drop it below or direct message me. I always appreciate um, having the opportunity to share yoga.